Hello everybody and happy Halloween 2024. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this is my Halloween build. Um, this is a clown that I'd gotten from NY3D Creations. Um, I tried to paint him so he would be like kind of similar to a deck of cards. Uh, the decals that you see all over his clothes, the hearts, spades, clubs, diamonds, they're all from decals that I got from uh, the internet that are for fingernails, believe it or not. And uh, this, he comes with a few different poses. Uh, hopefully you can see up on his hat, the front of his hat has a decal on it too. Um, he was real fun to paint. He was, it was easy to paint. I found a new way of doing wood, which I can go into more detail on a later video. This wood came out absolutely great. It's the best wood, uh, painting that I've ever done on this base. And it's very, very simple. Um, but I like this setup that he is in right now. He's holding in his left hand. He's enticing somebody to come to him, you know, with, you know, a gold ring with a heart setting that's supposed to be ruby. And then in his right hand, as you can see, he's got his weapon where he will do you harm. I didn't paint the eyes. I wanted the eyes to remain white, so he's soulless. And he has what you would see a clown would have. He would have like a bald cap over his head, and he's left it on. He's it's all dirty and all that kind of stuff. And I've edged it out with what looks like blood because it's all it's like part of his, it became part of his, his head and skin and all that. And the makeup around his eyes and running down his face is blood because he's basically an undead clown. And he's an evil clown. So I don't have a name for him. If you want to, give him a name. So I'm going to give him a spin around, let you see, and then I'm going to put the different hands that come with him on it just to show you some of the the different um, ways that you can have him posed. So here we go. We're going to give it a spin around here. And if there is anything after this video that you would want to see a close-up of, uh, let me know and I can show you close-ups of certain things that I did on him. So you can see the blood that he's got all over his... I was going to put blood all over his clothes, but I thought... It's, I didn't want to overdo it. Okay, let me pause him there. I will change out his hands and uh, 
show you the second pose. There's quite a few poses. Okay, here's the second pose. Basically the same almost as the first pose, but he's got a little bicycle horn in his hand to try to get your attention, to get you to turn your head to, what was that? And then, bash! Okay, so you saw that pose. Now we're going to change him up again. Here's another pose. This time he's got a knife behind his back trying to hide it. It hides a little bit better than that big club. Another, he's just trying to entice you to come over to see what's going on and then stab. Okay, then we have another, actually the last pose. Here he's just got two knives. Or he don't care at all. Okay, now I'll try to give you, just going to take the hands off so because they can fall off or just set in holes. The head is glued on. And here's a look at his face. With his yellow teeth, trying to keep the light on him. There's that ace of spades up on top of his hat. And he has a tattoo on the back of his head of a joker from a deck of cards. So you can see that. And you can see how his head is 
His face is just full of blood and he's just nasty. He's actually a zombie, that's why he's got the white eyes. And then here's the base. And this is the best wood base I've ever done. And it's only with two paints, two colors, other than the black. The black is just for effect, but for the lines in between. But that wood, I'll, I can show you in another video how I do that. And uh, that's the best wood effect that I've gotten for dark wood yet. And it's just two paints. So I'll show you that in another video at another time, if anybody is interested. So. And here he is with my favorite pose. And we'll do one more spin around and we'll call it quits. Let me know what you think. If you can think of a name for him, feel free to give him a name. Let me know what you think. And happy Halloween 2024. Everybody stay safe. Watch out for those little munchkins outside. And I hope everybody enjoys their Halloween. Okay, here's the final end of it. You all have a good Halloween. Enjoy yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye now.